Questions? First question here, on this second row here. Steph, down here on the right, uh, Ray Jasky from ESPN on 90. You, you really struggled with your offense tonight. Can you describe why, what wasn't working for you, what they were doing defensively, and just how you had such a tough night yourself? It was one of those games. I mean, I'm not going to overreact to one. It's obviously, uh, can play better and want to play better and will play better. And uh, I think in the first quarter, we, as a team, didn't, you know, weren't able to establish ourselves with uh, the way that quarter went on, on both ends of the floor. So, um, you know, they played with their backs against the wall. And they had a free swing at it. And it was one of those nights where we just um, didn't have anything clicking. So, um, Looking forward to uh, getting back out there on Monday and, and uh, you know, playing better. Ann, same row. Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Um, yeah, for both you guys, uh, kind of following up on that, was there anything that was remarkably different in the way they were attacking you um, offensively that, that took you out of your defensive game? Uh, I think they did a good job. You hear me? Oh, sorry. Um, I think they did a good job of uh, attacking early, and they opened up the three-point game, and they made some they made some tough ones, and they also, you know, just caught some some uh, you know caught them in rhythm and knocked them down. That's the team they've been all season is knocking down deep shots and difficult shots as well. But if you give them some open ones, like we did early on, you know, they gonna knock them in at some point. So uh, we gotta be better. I mean. After that first quarter, uh, they only up, what, four points? At, you know, just from the second to the fourth, they only beat us by four points the last three quarters. So uh, that first quarter, they came out and hit us with that, you know, amazing punch. 49 points in the first quarter is way too much. Uh, but you got to give them credit. They play extremely well tonight. Marcus standing on the right. Steph, you guys have lost before. Does this feel any different considering you haven't lost in a while and also this kind of sets up another 3-1 going back home and a reminder from last year? Man, uh, different team, man. Obviously, we have uh, haven't felt this feeling walking off the court with a loss in a while. Um, but we've done a good job of bouncing back and being resilient all year and, uh, and obviously learning from uh, all different experiences we've been through. Uh, I love the vibe we had in the locker room after the game, understanding what we need to do differently to, uh, to, to play better, to have a better first punch in that first six minutes, to play you know, with, with more force and aggressiveness and physicality. And talked about it, you know, going home is, is a good feeling, um, but it has to go with playing better. Um, we obviously know you can't just go home and expect to win. Um, and we like the fact that you know, we, we can, you know, correct a lot of things um, going into game five and just, you know, have put, a, put a better foot forward, especially in that first quarter and not, not lose the game right there. Kevin, you and LeBron had a nice exchange. That's just good playoff conversation. Yeah, I mean, you can't take everything away from the game. You're taking the hard fouls out of the game, calling them flagrants, taking the last stuff out of the game, but you can't take the emotion out of the game. Um, and we, were, we wasn't – coming to blows, we were just talking, you know, and that's a part of basketball. Um, you know, the game has, the game of basketball created that, you know what I'm saying? The refs didn't, we didn't as players. It's like the aura of the game created trash talk and just communication out there, you know what I'm saying? So I know you could, you could take away the physical part of the game as far as, you know, controlling stuff, but emotionally, like, that should be us. That should be what the players have as their, their own out there, so. I'm sure it's going to continue. Uh, it's nothing malicious, or we didn't say anything malicious. It's just a part of the game, you know. Like I say, emotions are, you know, what keeps this game alive. It keeps it going. It's for the players. Dan, Kenny, and Mark, last three. Dan Feldman, NBC Sports. Steph, I'm sorry we keep asking you about squatting, but well. Draymond and Steve were arguing with the ref when one of them got the technical. It looked like you squatted down, and were you just stretching there? And what did Richard Jefferson say to you? You, you serious better, right bro. now? You got to be better. People people are curious. Come on now, man. <laughs> this is crazy. You got to be better than that. <laughs> people are curious. I really don't have an answer for that. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. What, what did Richard Jefferson say to you? 
I have no idea. I don't remember what, what uh, situation you're talking about, but, yeah. Um, you got to be better, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I like you, but you got to be better. Kenny, I'll take the compliment. Standing right, Kenny? <laughs> Steph, Kenny wrote at WHBC. The physicality tonight, obviously different than, than the first three. How much different, and how much of that was a factor in them coming out and leading by 16 in the first quarter? Uh, that was a that was pretty much the fact in the first quarter. They got to the free throw line twenty something times and slowed the pace down. Um, granted, I mean you could nitpick each call, but they were the aggressor to begin with, and usually the aggressor gets the favorable whistle. Um, so we uh, we understand that going forward, um, and it. You know, historically against this team, when we don't answer that that punch in the first six minutes, you know, we we put ourselves behind the eight ball, and no matter how well we play after that, it takes a, uh, a miraculous rise to uh, try to get back in the game. So, um, you know, we got to understand that. You like that? Yeah, that was great. Like, thank you. Uh, we have to uh, understand that going forward. That you know, whoever's the aggressor to begin with sets the tone for the game, gets the pace to where you want it. Um, and, and good things happen out of that. So, um, you know, got to watch the film and understand how it how it went down and, and do something about it on Monday. And Kevin, with Tristan Thompson inside being a factor tonight, uh, what was he able to do or what didn't you guys do that you did in the first three games to control him? Uh, I think he was better. He was better tonight as far as just like keeping basketball alive, just doing what he just doing what he's paid to do. Um, you know, he had five, five assists, ten rebounds, five points, four offensive rebounds. That's a great game for him. So he was great tonight. We got to do a better job of being more physical, but not fouling. I think we we did that early on. We tried to match their physicality, but we got uh, we were you know we weren't smart enough in that area. So uh, and that got them going. So we got to be way better. You know, we can't go home and just expect that. Just because we're at home, it's our game. To, you know, we got to go take it. You know, and uh, I think it starts on the physical side of it. And both teams are going to be battling, so it should be fun. Mark, last question. Mark Schwartz, ESPN, for both of you guys. Kyrie Irving, after the game, was saying that all the chatter about how satisfied you'd be to win on their home court really motivated the Cavaliers, lit a fire under them. They were several of the Cavaliers were talking about how that chatter just kind of lit their fire. Any concerns about lighting their fire that way? We are in the NBA Finals, and no matter what you need to inspire you, whatever you need to grab a hold of, chalkboard material, whatever it happens, like it's so hard to win a championship. And kudos to them for finding whatever it took to, to you know, play an, an amazing game, which they did. You know, we got to find our, our edge next game. Um, there's... There's no secret, just we're, it's how big the stage is right now. And, um, yeah, we would love to have, you know, celebrated tonight and finished off the job. Didn't happen. Got another opportunity on Monday. Um, and like I said, we got to find our edge and, uh, you know, respond. So all that chatter and stuff is neither here nor there. It's whatever you, you know, need to, uh, to get yourself ready to play. All right. Thank you. Oh.